Hi, my name is Brian DiGiano, and right now I'm not actually going to make you a drink. I'm just going to talk about some glassware that you usually use when serving cocktails or any other type of drink. And I'll start here with the classic martini glass. And the classic martini glass, when you serve a drink in a, classic, in a martini glass, or also called a cocktail glass, uh, is almost always served straight up, which really means with no ice. And so, before you pour your drink into the, into the glass, you want to make sure that the glass is cold. It's as cold as the drink will be. Because it has a stem, and it's not going to get any colder because there's no ice. So it's just going to warm up as you're drinking. You're drinking, you don't want that. You want it to stay cold. And you serve martinis or cosmopolitans, uh, Manhattans. Uh, those types of drinks, usually spir mostly spirits, um, those type of drinks in a martini glass. And then the next glass, standard uh, rocks glass, or old fashioned, or low ball, all known as all of those names. Um, known as an old fashioned because you'd usually serve an old fashioned in it which is a classic drink with bourbon and Angostura bitters and uh, but you can serve all kinds of other types of drinks in a rocks glass or low ball old fashioned glass and, uh, and then the, the taller one of these known as a highball or Collins because you serve a Tom Collins in it and these glasses, both the, the Rocks Old Fashioned and uh, also the Highball Collins glass, will always be served with ice because they don't have a stem. And usually the drinks that you're serving in a, a Highball or Collins glass will have also club soda in it or some type of mixer, carbonated mixer like cola or club soda or ginger ale, something like that, or mostly juices. Usually not served just spirits or liqueurs in a glass like this. And next, here is a uh, Pilsner, or also a sling. And you can serve uh, a beer in this type of glass, or um, the Singapore sling, classically was served in a sling glass like this, shaped like this. Um, but uh, you don't usually see these type of glasses very much. Um, they will often serve a, a beer in it, what would be called an empire footed Pilsner, which is slightly different than this, and uh, much larger actually. But um, anyway, that's this glass. And next is your uh, wines. Here is a uh, very uh, high quality uh, Waterford Crystal made in Ireland. Uh, sort of a general purpose wine glass. You might also be use one of these which is a uh, balloon wine glass and designed for wines to really bring out the bouquet of the wine and uh, and then here a uh, white wine glass. The white wine glass is will usually always be taller and a little narrower, have a, 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 a slimmer uh, nose, neck up here, as the uh, red wine glasses have more of a bowl and they're a little bit wider. But then in these they also have a stem so you will not serve ice in them, although you will see some drinks uh, like a sangria that you would serve in a wine glass with ice. Um, so you can do that, but and also when you're serving wines in wine glasses like this, um, never fill the glass. Uh, depending on the shape of the glass, usually it'll be about halfway is, is the, the most you want to fill the wine glass with wine. Uh, because it allows the uh, bouquet of the wine to fill in the space of the glass, which is really what you're going for with it, a wine glass. And um, so those are these.
put these down here so they're out of the way. And next, uh, here, another uh, wine glass, which is a champagne flute. And a slender, tall glass like this is used for champagnes because it's uh, for the bubbles. It's, I don't know exactly why it uh, works well with bubbles, but it just makes the bubbles better or something. Um, but you normally serve champagne flute, or excuse me, uh, champagne in a champagne flute or uh, different types of champagne cocktails like a uh, French 75, which is a classic uh, champagne cocktail. Um, invented, named after the original French uh, 75 millimeter howitzer and uh, after World War II or World War One, one of those wars anyways. Uh, also a Bellini, something like that would be served in this. Um, or a mimosa, which is sort of a Bellini but with orange juice. The Bellini is with peach nectar or peach puree if you're using that. And uh, also with a stem you would not serve this with ice. Uh, although sometimes you will see champagne cocktails uh, topped with ice, or, uh, excuse me, cocktails served with ice sometimes are topped with champagne. It just gives them another layer. But uh, usually when served in a champagne flute, you will not use ice.